Bus number 2904. Everything we do is for the safety of your children. It's the one Mike Pate has been driving for the past month. Pate worked for the U.S. Postal Service for 32 years before retiring in 2017. I enjoyed that work, but it just kind of got old after a while. But in January, he read an article on how preschool students weren't able to get to school because there weren't enough drivers. So he decided to help fill that gap. And I thought, well, that's something I might enjoy doing. I like kids. I really do. So uh, I applied and got the job. Joining Davis County Public Schools as a bus driver in March. In April, he was officially on the road and one morning overheard a conversation he simply couldn't ignore. Found out that a lot of them couldn't afford to get books. The parents, uh, they do a lot, but they can't do everything. So I just decided <clears throat> I don't really need the money. So what better thing to do than to give it to the kids? He donated $1,000, helping more than 160 children at Eastview Elementary buy books at the school book fair. Becoming a bus driver and signing a check. For him, little things, but they're making big impacts in the lives of so many children. I was there when a lot of the kids got their books and just seeing the smiles on her face, it's just amazing. Pate says the district is still short about 25 drivers. It's a great job. There's great people to work with and you get to interact with the children and it's great. And hopes more people will step up to meet the need because after less than a month behind the wheel. Yeah, I delivered through the post office uh, and it's kind of similar to delivering here, only the cargo is much more precious. <laughs> He's found a new drive in life to keep him moving forward. In Owensboro, Valerie Lyons, 44 News.